Oh, hey, hey, I found it. The camera. Somebody must have laid it back here. We've been looking everywhere for you. Well, I guess it's time. Let's go. Hey, I guess since y'all been hiding in the closet for a while, somebody lost that camera. I guess we better run through and give a quick update on what's going on. So, the new subscribers we got will know what's happening. And for those that might have bad memory, catch it back up. Uh, you know that thingy? It caught us. It's running its course through our house two so far with it if you don't know what that thingy is I'm talking about I'm sorry you should know everybody's doing fairly well with it though so let's get to talking uh, we're waiting on carpet we got the floor done we could use it like this but we we really wanted carpet ever since the very beginning and we're just gonna hold out until we can buy carpet for it we got these side rails there, bolted on up front. And uh, I'll spin you around here in a minute so we can look at some of that stuff. Uh, still need tires and wheels. Still need to replace the water pump and the boat motor. The water impeller, not water pump, water, water impeller. And get a gas tank set up for that. And console and seats and then bolt on the side rails right here we might have to touch those up just a little bit the wind blew them down had a pretty good wind one day and they blew them off they were sitting up here you could see the marks there on the tray on the the floor here where they were all just sitting up here but that's about all that's Nothing's been happening so far. I still need to paint the seat. Uh, I don't think I could take you in there and show you that right now. Check this out. I'd take you on there right now, but this is what it looks like. A mess again. I don't know. Some of y'all watching our videos very often, y'all might see us cleaning up the shed quite often. Well, I'll throw a picture up of the seat right here since we can't go in there looking around. Uh, I need to paint it. Make like some kind of frame underneath of it. I got me a one of the world's best cousins. Maybe he's watching this. If you are, you can help me build that. I don't know what he'll charge me. Probably a trip down to his little oasis on the river. Might have to sneak down there one day at, with a fishing pose early one morning and with that seat, and let him measure it and whip us up a frame real quick for it and wet some hooks in the river. Maybe I'll see if he's got any I know he sent me some. I'll see if he's still got some pictures of some of the fish he's been catching down there. I mean, like right now. Like, probably, he probably sitting out there right now catching them. I gotta make a trip down there with y'all. But that's where we're at right now. Oh, on the console. We had bought the, the material and started cutting it up for a, the console. But it, 
I'm thinking about let's run up there to my my sister and brother-in-law's and snap a picture of his his console. I want to throw this out there and see if any of y'all might know where one is sitting that somebody might have took off the boat or an old boat that may be wrecked or maybe they're redoing it and decided to change it out. I want to see if I can find a, a console already built, a fiberglass one. If I can't, I'll do my, uh, I'll do this one that we've been working on already. We ain't even got very far, just cutting the wood down. And it'll turn out nice, but I, I'd like, I'd love it if I could find a, a fiberglass console already made up. So let's run up there and get some videos or photos or drawings, whatever of that. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about right here. About this size, ain't even a have, I gotta have a windshield on it. I ain't that fancy. Just be nice to have a little live well in it like his has underneath the front seat right there. But just anything that's already shaped and if it needs a little fiberglass work or a paint job, I may or may not know a person that can handle that. That would go real nice on that pontoon boat of ours. And even if it's a little wider than his, you gotta think, my boat's gonna have a little bit more floor space than he has. But, uh, Anyone know of any of these sitting around anywhere? Holler at me. And I may or may not know where a nice camper is for sale. It's a nice little camper there. Not little. It's got two outside doors. Not even a year old. The only reason I want to get rid of that camper is because the the pickup he has don't pull it very good. Uh, I don't know how he feels on that one. All those 40, 50,000 pound loads we used to haul on that little 16 foot trailer back in the day. No, <laughs> I'm messing with him. But no, I do know how he feels. We had a, a camper, supposed to be an ultra light that we pulled with a Z71 pickup I had back in the day and oh that that pickup and trailer was so squirrely on the road and I, I've pulled trailers I pulled bobcats and dozers that little camper trailer behind that Z71 just did not they did not pair up together but that's the only reason he's wanting to get rid of it is just he he ain't quite comfortable with it and uh, they they think it's a little bit too big for what they need and nothing wrong with it pretty nice little camper I'd like it I'd love it if I could take over the payments on it but I ain't ready where I'm at right now yet but I'd want me a little bit bigger truck than a half ton to pull it I like being able to run with them I mean not granny poking along but let's look at this. We got these little navigation lights bolted on. Uh, we had to take off the little frame right here you pull up against and chain the boat to. We had to take that off so we could get this front front runner right here on it. So we got to put that back on. We got to hit the tires. Get a get a couple new tires for it uh, lots are already done trailers dirty but it, it looks good when it's clean so y'all know what that means don't y'all Texas platoon is fixed to be on the water it's gonna be a crazy and busy active spring and summer so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give us a thumbs up so you don't miss out any, on any more of our videos. Become part of the Texas Platoon fam. Help us grow. 
help us reach others and share the the knowledge and the uh, entertainment and maybe one day you can join us out there on the water or join us in the campground or join us on the road on a vacation till the next one keep enjoying those great outdoors